Hello, my name is James Francis, CEO of Saffron Housing Trust. Saffron provides quality, affordable homes and care and support services to over 15,000 customers and tenants across Norfolk and Suffolk. <laughs> the, the fact I don't do any work um, and, and what I mean by that is CEO is all about being people focused so the fact that what I say to staff to customers to partners every day can impact on the difference we make is a really really powerful and important thing to me. For Saffron it is all about an aspiration to become more than a landlord whether that's the work of our customer voice influencing the way services are delivered in the organisation or the work of our community foundation. I think one of the, uh, one of the things that makes you really proud is when you get a little note from somebody um, which tells you you've made a difference. So two or three weeks into this role at Saffron I received a note from a gentleman whose parents had a real desire to retain their independence but had an increasing care need. Uh, they moved into one of our housing with care schemes, um, their independence preserved and his peace of mind in really good shape. Those are the types of things that make me really proud. Well, we're really focused at Saffron on being a really great landlord, but it's the things that take us beyond being a landlord that we're in our formative stages with. We have a, a really great and willing customer voice. We have an emerging community foundation. It's the difference those things can make in two and three years time that I would love to be doing today. Gosh, well, uh, you know, I think everybody needs really good role models in, in work and in life, and I'm, I'm fortunate to have had a few. Uh, the, the person that stands above all of those is the, the sadly late but great Brenda Reynolds. Um, she was chair of the board of Rodden's Housing Association, a, a stock transfer from Fenland District Council. Brenda taught me all about what it meant to be a tenant in social housing, the, the power of clarity and, um, and how to make a great cup of tea and slice of toast. Um, I would do two things actually. I think the, the obvious thing to say perhaps is to increase grant capital subsidy, um, particularly for the building of homes with rents that do not exceed the local housing allowance. But I think there's probably something more structural beyond that. Um, so social housing is all about the long term and it's about partnership and, and I sense politics is more short term um, and a little bit more fractious. So I would seek to create some really long term cross party working groups that were united in their, their value and belief in social housing. Hmm. <laughs> Um, undoubtedly designed for life by the, uh, the Manic Street Preachers, which um, not only is a great tune, it was something that was, uh, was being played regularly, I guess at a relatively formative stage of my life, um, a time when I was applying for lots of jobs, so anything that starts with the lyrics, libraries gave us power, is right by me. Oh, and an ideal Saturday starts with a morning run, um, would then involve taking my girls to gymnastics and netball. Um, then during the afternoon, I would watch Norwich City win well at Carrow Road, um, and it would probably finish with falling asleep in the middle of Strictly with a glass of nice red wine. <laughs>